So these two statements here are so critical for understanding um, moving forward, determining if a function is differentiable. So if a function is continuous on a certain interval, is it also differentiable? For that, I'm going to say false. And my counterexample would be something like this. As I approach my important value, point of interest, I have a negative slope and then I have a positive slope. So therefore here on this side, f prime of x is a negative number. And on this side, f prime of x is a positive number. So therefore we cannot differentiate at a. But let's look at this one. If a function is differentiable on a certain interval, it's also continuous. So let's think about that. That means that the slope, as we approach a point from both sides, um, are the same. So for instance, uh, let's see, something like, oh, uh, let's see, let me do a really, really basic one. Let me do like the most common, a constant function at A. Here, from this side, f prime of x equals zero. From this side, f prime of x equals zero. So therefore, at this point, f prime of a is also going to equal zero. So I liked this uh, example better because we're able to really focus on just one point. If it was a curve, it'd be a little harder to see. So if it's continuous, it is not differentiable, but if it is differentiable, then it has to be continuous at that point because the derivatives on both sides exist, so the limit exists, and the function at that point has to equal those limits.